Peggy Detail Time of Recording It's very hot in my room It's very warm But no one's at home so I can speak more freely <laughs> uh, so I'm going to talk about aliens and well, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. So I've been reading this thing called the Lacerta Files. Uh, it's it's apparently an interview with a reptilian species who says that their species are, are native to the planet and that uh, you know um the the name of the reptilian is the lacerta it's interesting uh, um i feel like it's true uh, but you know you have to read it for yourself and make your own judgment it's uh, you know I feel like there is some truth here. It's very interesting. It goes into like it, it. It's it's for me. It sort of like kind of confirms to me because it just tell because humans are really really stupid. Humans are so stupid. That's what I I can tell. Like if just from my own observations of humanity and my own and my own reflection on my own experience as a human being i can tell how stupid uh, just how humans are a slave species and you know as it as mentioned in these lists of us and also mentioned by other people you know there's this idea that we are created we were genetically engineered uh by other aliens and um, according to this uh information here uh, the elohim of the bible uh were the ones who actually created humanity and apparently the humans that are on the planet right now are the seventh iteration like there has been uh, six prior iterations of humanity and each time the Elohim they <laughs> restarted the experiments they destroyed the civilizations and they restarted it again uh, they don't, this person doesn't go into why that happened but you know the Bible the, the Elohim the, 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 that's evidenced you know this is man this is like makes makes sense i mean just the way one way i feel like to understand humanity is by comparing it to other intelligent beings you know because if you look at humans by themselves it's hard to just sort of you know make sense of them because you only have like one kind of sample right but if you compare it with other species and how they behave um Humans are easy to manipulate. That's the thing I can, I can say that. Just look at Twitter. Just look at how we, we... It's just so easy to manipulate. We are looking for a savior. We want other people to tell us what to do. We're looking for, you know, some hero. Uh, you know, it's very difficult for human beings to be sovereign, to think for themselves uh and i mean i mean people do that but we, well, what i'm saying is most of humanity is looking for a savior i think this is probably genetically we are conditioned through our biology to look for a savior maybe that's how the the elohim when they created humans they wanted to be <laughs> they wanted to create a species that would worship them um, so maybe we have this tendency to want to believe, looking for some kind of a God. Maybe we have that kind of conditioning in our biology or in our DNA that makes us think like that. 
and also the fact that you know, we're very emotional and you know we have this ego thing that we're so easy to control uh you know we have this tribalistic thing where we can we can make we are we're so quick to um regard the other as an enemy and it's so easy f- to get us to uh you know to fight each other or, or to distract us with this divide and conquer and and i feel that the, the fact that we're so easy to manipulate and control is another evidence that we are a slave species because we're so if you can and I, you know that's another kind of evidence for the fact that we were created to be like slaves <laughs> for work or whatever um or soldiers mercenaries uh maybe that's why they made us very violent uh, so we could be soldiers in whatever <laughs> wars they want to conduct off planet maybe you know not just on this planet um I was going to say something but I forgot. Yes, we're so easy to manipulate. Um this is just very interesting uh, <laughs> the person this this reptilian being is so I found it <sighs> so snobbish. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very maybe the view uh, there is this concept called as above, so below. So like every life form, uh, like there, there seems to be a, a, a sort of a, a pattern to the universe. So things developed in very similar ways. You see, because you can think of sacred geometry. There are some fundamental patterns and principles so you, you can have life um evolve on different planets and they all tend to end up behaving similarly so you can understand other species because once a, a species starts evolving they tend to sort of think similarly because the universe itself has certain patterns so the thought processes of the beings that grow in the universe evolve in the universe are going to be similar even if they're like from another planet or star or whatever you know so in that way it's possible to understand these other species you know although although there might be other beings which i you know, it's interesting to read this because uh, this this being goes into the description of the history of the planet and how the dinosaurs were killed off because of a war between aliens and not because of some asteroid impact and um you know and there was another video i saw which is very interesting that uh, talk about uh, mars and how mars there was a war and there's evidence of a nuclear explosion uh, because of the this concentration of xenon 129 and where is that? That was a good video. Oh, I'll share that video because that was very interesting. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, apparently the Elohim are going to come back and there's going to be some kind of a war, possibly, but the war might not be kinetic. And you know, the, 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 the being talks about the greys and what happened. Like the greys betrayed the uh, Americans and Roswell and all of these questions about UFO physics and the universe and consciousness and how consciousness is uh, and and telepathy and how all of this. Uh, what have been a lot of interesting discussion there. Um. You know what I call consciousness. This being calls it fields. Uh, um, yeah, there's apparently there's a, in in the material world there is a, you know there are five states of matter. Not only plasma, but apparently there's another state of matter. Matter. Although I don't I don't understand that part. 
Um, uh, interesting discussion about UFO disclosure, Mars alien intentions from a defense contractor uh, physicist. Oh, very interesting. I thought. Oh, mm. oh well, well, I found. I heard. Uh, apparently, there's a remote viewing of the Lacerta files, and uh, <laughs> oops. Uh, uh, sorry for burping. I hate it <laughs> when I hear that. Uh, where the hell is it? Uh, let me find it. I'm curious. I mean, uh, Oh, okay. here we go. Then this tweet has some. Uh, I'll just put that uh, tweet uh, about the search of files. All right. Well, I think I'll just leave it there. I don't, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, humans are. I don't know what's going to happen to humanity. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But we're not alone. And uh, I've got a lot of different species on this planet and in other dimensions and under the earth. And there are lots of whistleblowers, witnesses, uh, images, videos. I mean, Look at how easy it is to divide the, uh, the the UFO community, quote. I mean, all you have to do is just raise some doubt and people are still arguing, do aliens exist? And in the meantime, do you see how easy it is to get people focused on things like that? Whereas the, the bigger picture, what are these people doing? Well, what has going? What has been going on for all of these years? I mean, we should be thinking about that. But instead, they want to just get us focused on: Do aliens exist? Uh, let's just talk about that for another hundred years. Do aliens exist? While they keep on doing whatever they want to do. I mean, these aliens want the secrecy apparently, uh, because it's easy to control. People, when, when if you if your plan is to uh, conquer a planet, you don't want the <laughs> uh, the beings knowing you exist. You know, if you if you have hostile intentions, you don't want to know. You don't want a kinetic all-out war because I guess history shows that you know that can be pretty messy. Uh, as if you're trying to create hybrids and, and, and you know, clone, clone yourself into the population. Uh, yeah. That's, you know, it kind of makes sense. But uh, seriously, uh, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, it's just frustrating. Humanity is frustrating, but what can you do, man? I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. Um, Maybe, maybe we'll go extinct soon. And <laughs> it seems like there is a war coming with aliens. I left a comment. On, well, we're, we're headed for war with ETs. <laughs>